1960 Jefferson Nickel with Full Steps. Graded in Mint State 66 by PCGS. According to Grading Service, Jefferson Nickels from the 1960s are very challenging to locate with full steps. The 1960P is no exception with about two dozen or so known with full steps in all grades combined. In uncirculated grades without the full steps they are also very scarce with less than a few hundred known. This elusive specimen ended up selling for $5,040. 1985 Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 68 plus read by PCGS. This magnificent 1985 Lincoln Cent is one of the 12 coins certified in this lofty grade at PCGS, with just single finer. The design elements exhibit razor-sharp definition and the pristine original red surfaces radiate vibrant mint luster on both sides. It was sold for $3,475.12 with buyer's fee. 2004D Wisconsin State Quarter, highly sought after extra leaf low variety, graded in Mint State 67 by PCGS. This popular cherry picker's variety features an apparent extra leaf positioned low on the husk of corn. According to cherry pickers, the artifact resulted when a tool with a rounded edge was deliberately impressed into the working die. The leaf was not part of the original design. This delightful superb gem is sharply detailed, impeccably preserved, and fully lustrous with outstanding eye appeal. It was sold for $6,000. 1986 P. Jefferson Nickel overstruck on a 1986 cent. Graded in Mint State 64 read by NGC. According to Heritage Auctions, the 986 of the cent date is obvious within Jefferson's hair. The nickel mint mark is sharp. The top half of the nickel date is lightly brought up. A lustrous brick red near gem that has occasional dashes of orange red on the fields. It was sold for $1,265. 1950 Proof Jefferson Nickel. Graded as PR67 plus deep cameo by PCGS. According to Ron Guth, in 1950, Production of proof coins resumed at the Philadelphia after time off to allow the mint to produce metals for the military during and after World War II. The mintage of the 1950 proof set was more than double that of the 1942, indicating a pent-up demand for proof coins. Each of the 1950 proof sets contained one proof coin of each denomination each in an individual cellophane envelope, all of which were stapled together, placed in tissue, and sealed in a small cardboard box. Today, sealed original 1950 proof sets are quite scarce as most have been opened and searched for deep cameo examples. Brilliant proof 1950 nickels are quite common, but cameo examples become scarce and deep cameo proofs are downright rare. This one ended up selling for $8,941.50 with buyer's fee. 1939 Jefferson nickel with reverse of 1940. Graded in Mint State 68 FS by NGC. FS standing for full steps designation. While the 1939 reverse of 1940 nickel is more available than its reverse of 1938 counterpart, the issue is nonetheless a rarity in the lofty MS-68 full steps grade. Strike sharpness is outstanding throughout on this coin, and the surfaces are pristine. It was sold for $2,160. Attractively toned 1962 D. Washington Quarter. Graded in Mint State 67 Plus by PCGS. Pinkish, olive green, cerulean blue shades grace the obverse surfaces of this quarter dollar. According to David Hall, though the mintage is huge, over 100 million coins, this is one of the scarcer 1941 to 1964 silver Washington quarters in gem condition. There weren't that many saved at the time of issue and most uncirculated survivors have lots of marks and abrasions. This spectacular gem fetched a sum of $5,140.12. 2001D Lincoln Cent, graded in Mint State 69 red by PCGS. According to website of grading service, the 2001 D. Lincoln scent is very common. Examples can easily be found in circulation, up to about MS-65 condition. Examples in MS-66 to MS-67 can be found in mint sets, bags, or rolls. In MS-69 condition, it is very scarce, but if someone decides to buy one graded, with enough patience, one will eventually surface in the market. Nevertheless. PCGS certified just 23 specimens this fine, including this penny. Medium pink luster bathes smooth, satiny surfaces on both sides of this lovely superb gem. It fetched a sum of $920. 1921S Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 65 Re by PCGS. Delightful golden orange surfaces are fully lustrous with a much shaper strike than typically encountered for the issue. 
a relatively limited mintage of 15,274,000 pieces has made the 1921 S a popular Lincoln cent with collectors since the year of issue. Though Lincoln cent specialists are well aware, the casual bidder would be surprised by the relative dearth of gem red examples of the 1921 S in today's market. This is a better produced, better preserved example and it ended up selling for $26,400. 1946 Jefferson Nickel. Graded in mint state 67 full steps by PCGS. Satiny luster complements nearly flawless surfaces and sharp devices, with no obvious dye erosion. According to NGC, as soon as World War II came to an end, budgets were slashed for most federal agencies and bureaus, the U.S. Mint included. As the Mint returned to the pre-war composition of copper and nickel for the five-cent piece, it did so under severe cost restrictions that continued to tighten over the next several years. Given these conditions it's not surprising that the quality of the nation's coinage eroded even further than it had during the war years. Top-notch gems are rare. This superb gem ended up selling for $2,160. 2005 Lincoln Cent with Satin Finish from Special Strike, graded in Mint State 70 Red by PCGS. According to Jamie Hernandez, in 2005 the U.S. Mint introduced a Satin Finish uncirculated coin set which gave the coins a special satin-like appearance. Coins were struck with sandblasted dyes and in burnished coin blanks. The satin finish coins were only struck from 2005 to 2012. Dot, most examples came in really good quality with most examples grading about MS67, MS68 condition. Nicer examples graded MS69 while very few achieved the MS70 grade. This numismatic pinnacle ended up selling for $1,725. 1983 D. Roosevelt Dime. Graded in Mint State 67 FB by PCGS. FB standing for full bands. According to the NGC price guide, as of November 2023, a Roosevelt dime from 1983 in circulated condition is worth between 15 cents and 35 cents. However, on the open market 1983D dimes in pristine, uncirculated condition sell for as much as $300. But this MS67 gem with full bands was sold for $1,968.75 with buyer's fee. 1942s Jefferson nickel struck on a silver dime planchet. This war nickel was struck on a silver dime blank, and since the planchet was undersized relative to nickel dyes, Liberty and States of America are mostly absent. Three quarters of the date is present. Satiny with light chestnut toning. The finder was curious about his or her discovery, and entered a few light pin scratches on Monticello and Jefferson's shoulder. It was sold for $1,955. 1985 Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 68 plus read by PCGS. According to Grading Service, the 1985 P. Lincoln scent is very easy to find in circulation. Only in MS66 condition or higher is it scarce. In MS67 condition it's a little more difficult to find but with enough roll searching an example can easily be found. In MS68 condition they are very difficult to find and it is probably easier to buy an example than to try and find one. Plus designated specimens are almost unheard of and they command strong premiums at auctions. This one was bargained for $1,075. 1934 Washington Quarter with Medium Motto. Wonderfully preserved ultra gem coveted CAC seal of approval. Smooth, flawless surfaces display frosty luster. The obverse is generally untoned while the reverse is awash in attractive lavender, pale blue, and peach tints. This is the most common of the three primary 1934 obverse designs. CAC approved for quality. It was sold for $9,750. 1929 D. Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 66 plus read by PCGS. According to Stax Bowers, exceptionally well produced for an issue that is known for the widespread use of worn dyes, this premium quality gem is sharply defined throughout. Satiny and smooth, the surfaces are of further desirability given the full pinkish rose luster that the coin retains. Although Mint State survivors of this high mintage issue are plentiful in an absolute sense, most are confined to lower grades due to poor striking quality, subdued luster or numerous detracting blemishes. This example was sold for $7,800. 1973's Jefferson Nickel struck on a foreign blank, Liberian 5 cents planchet to be exact. Graded as PR67 Ultra Cameo by NGC. This Liberian copper nickel planchet is a little more than 15% underweight for the type. This did not prevent the present superb gem proof from receiving a bold strike and impressive contrast. An unusual but undeniably desirable wrong planchet proof error. It was sold for $1,207.50. 1978's Lincoln Cent. 
graded as PR70 Deep Cameo by PCGS. This collector's item is representative of numismatic perfection, surfaces are devoid of mentionable contact marks or blemishes. Stark contrast is evident between liquid-like fields and frosty reliefs. This superb gem fetched a sum of $2,025 with buyer's fee. 1934 D. Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 67 Plus Red by PCGS. An amazing registry quality gem with frosty, lustrous surfaces and fantastic eye appeal. Fiery red surfaces with fantastic luster. CAC approved for quality. It was sold for $20,350. 1942 D. Jefferson Nickel. Highly sought after repunched mint mark variety, D over horizontal D. Graded in Mint State 65 by PCGS. This well-struck gem boasts a lovely champagne rose luster. A very nice piece, and among the finest certified for an issue that is rare even in lower mint state grades. Important find for the advanced Jefferson Nickel Collector. It was sold for $8,050. 1948 Jefferson Nickel. Graded in mint state 67 full steps by PCGS. A sharp, satiny example struck from fresh dyes with no evidence of erosion. The near brilliant surfaces are pristine, and I appeal is outstanding. This Philadelphia issue usually seen no finer than MS-66 in the full steps category, and superb gems such as the present are rarities. It was sold for $2,640. 2009 D Professional Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 67 by PCGS. According to Jamie Hernandez, the 2009 Professional Lincoln Cent design represents Abraham Lincoln's professional life in Illinois, from about 1830 to 1860. The professional reverse design is the third of four different themes used in 2009 for the Lincoln scent. Each design represents a memorable time in Lincoln's life. This professional scent in Mint State 67 ended up selling for $1,173.73. 1914 Lincoln scent. Graded as PR67 plus brown by NGC. As of November 2023, this is the sole finest 1914 matte proof Lincoln in the BN category graded by either PCGS or NGC. It is no surprise that at this lofty state of preservation, this superb gem is flawless. Satiny lustrous matte finish surfaces are brilliant and highlight the deep chocolate brown. As you rotate this beauty in a light, the fine facets of the sandblast finish sparkle and accent hints of steely blue overtones. Every detail is razor sharp. If you seek an exemplar matte proof scent, this is as high a grade as they come. It ended up selling for $8,400. 1941 proof Jefferson nickel from a small mintage of 18,720 pieces. The 1941 proof Jefferson nickel is a prime condition rarity at the PR 68 grade level according to PCGS population. NGC certified only two finer with plus designation. This spectacular PR 68 specimen offers sharply detailed design elements and virtually flawless surfaces, with attractive highlights of jade, sea green, and lavender gray toning. I appeal is terrific. It was sold for $2,880. 1982 D. Jefferson Nickel. Graded in Mint State 67 Full Steps by PCGS. According to the NGC Price Guide, as of December 2023, a Jefferson Nickel from 1982 in circulated condition is worth between 10 cents and 20 cents. However, on the open market 1982 D. Nickels in pristine, uncirculated condition sell for as much as $190. Sometimes it fetch much larger premiums in MS-67 and higher conditions. This one was sold for $3,125.25 with buyer's fee. 1953 Carver, Washington Commemorative Half Dollar. Graded in Mint State 67 by NGC. This half dollar exhibits unsurpassable quality, mark-free, glowing lustrous surfaces with some attractive iridescent reddish gold color over the obverse. Sharply struck with no blemishes of any kind, some mint-made dye lines are noted in the reverse field. It ended up selling for $9,987.50. 1978 Washington Quarter. Graded in Mint State 67 Plus by PCGS. This beauty saw outstanding preservation. Needle-sharp details and satiny lustrous surfaces are devoid of any distractions and offer gorgeous eye appeal. It was sold for $2,050. 2014 D. Sacagawea Dollar, Mewed with Presidential Dollar graded as AU58 by NGC. A mule is perhaps the most fascinating mint era known to modern collectors. Most era types, such as off-center strikes, brockages, indents, die caps, wrong planchets, etc., are the product of some part of the mechanical coin production line failing to function as normal. 
Many such errors are the statistically inevitable result of striking hundreds of millions of coins per year through a single set of presses. Others are so fantastic that it would be illogical not to accept the idea that they had help getting out of the mint. Mules, on the other hand, are an error of their own breed. Broadly speaking, a mule is a coin struck from two dies that were never meant to be paired. Rather than the product of mechanical failings, as are most modern mint errors, mules are the product of human error. The present lot stands apart on its own ground. The obverse is from an ordinary 2014 D. Sacagawea dollar, but the reverse is that intended for the presidential dollars of that year. It was sold for $84,000. Thanks for watching this video. Consider subscribing to our channel for more captivating numismatic content. Have a good one!